Hey guys, Captain here. Today I just wanted to show off a little building technique that I always thought was really cool. It's a very cool technique for water. I went to a Lego store recently and I found out that they actually had some of these translucent 1x2 tiles. And uh, also a bunch of these uh, 2x4 plates in, uh, I think this is Azure, Dark Azure. I don't think this unless this is medium blue I don't remember what the what the colors are for some of these these shades of blue because there's a lot of them in Lego but anyway it's it's a very nice shade I think this is the kind they've been using in some of the friends sets I noticed uh, some of those colors have been sneaking their way onto pick a brick walls which is uh, very cool actually because some of them are very unique colors I found uses for some of them like you never know when you'll need a quantity of lime or magenta or even lavender bricks or something so Anyway, um, I, I have three little samples here on these base plates, and uh, each of them I think has it, its own purposes. I also have some other samples on various other plates uh, that I was just testing out what colors look good in the background. Um, the first one here on the side is very simple. All you do is you just take a bunch of these tiles and just line them up. It's the same thing I did here, and you just line them up. And this is something that uh, doesn't create too much of a great visual effect. It's something that I think would look best for swimming pools. Uh, you know, very much standing water and very controlled water. And since, you know, you can get a very square fashion, it would work out well for a swimming pool. I'm actually going to skip over to this side right now. This one is very similar, but there's a bit of... Um, uh, I, can't, I can't think of the word here, but there's, there's spaced apart. You know, it's not perfectly even. It looks like a brick wall. And this actually creates a nice sense of, uh, of direction and flow. This is something that would work very well for like a creek or a stream, you know, any form of flowing water. I've seen it used in uh, ponds and whatnot. I've even seen it used in large standing water like a bay. But I think it looks best for something like a, you know, with, with a directional flow like a river or a stream. And then this last one, I have another sample here as well, uh, is something that I think works very well for... Uh, for large bodies of water because it looks very organic. I, the way I created this, it was more it was like semi-random placement just with these tiles uh, just alternating the directions and whatnot. As you can hopefully see by the lines, the lights reflecting off it so you should be able to see. Um, it, it, I've seen this used in like, again, like bays and harbors, you know, the ocean and whatnot. And uh, another thing that's really nice about this one that it's hard to do with uh, with the other effect is you can purposely create a space here or there and you can put some uh, some translucent plates to create a little bit of a uh, you know ocean wave or a sea foam effect or something like that I did happen to pick up a bunch of uh, translucent plates I wish I brought some out just for this demonstration actually I have them right next to me didn't realize the container was still there so I uh, you know, so you can you can create a bit of like sea foam and whatnot, or like a like a wave. You know, you can you can just remove a few studs, and you can do something like this, or you can just put one here, one there. You know, how, however you want to do so. But uh, again, because this is semi-random placement, it's uh, it really allows for you to have that kind of spacing if you like, and it complements it very well. So that's that. This is probably like the simplest way uh, that I know of to make nice looking water. There are other simple ways, but this is like, this might be the simplest. I mean, again, like, look how easy this is. It's a very, pretty much mindless process. Even this, it's not too difficult to do. You know, you just make sure there aren't too many facing in the same direction and whatnot. And so anyway, with that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, send this to your friends. Check out my other ones, and I will see you guys next time.